What is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing some truck camping. Yes, as you can see I have uh, the truck and it actually just got done raining and snowing. Up where I live, a little higher in elevation, I woke up to an absolute blizzard. It was freezing cold, even have some snow left over here on the license plate. But yeah, it just stopped, it just calmed down. We got a little bit of blue sky. So hopefully after a hard rain and snow like this, that, the fish down there are gonna be biting. We've got brown trout, tiger trout, cutthroat trout, rainbow trout, splake, perch even. You know, maybe we'll catch some perch, cook those up. We've got a lot of different species in this lake. The water's down a lot. As you can probably tell, we're at the dam. While the weather's good, I don't know how the weather's gonna be. It's supposed to snow even more tomorrow. So while it's calm, while it's not raining or snowing, we're gonna head down there, see if we can catch some fish, just so we can ensure we have some food for tonight. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let's get down there and start fishing. Here we go. Guys, we got the Rapala, the go-to, of course. This looks really good. Usually, in theory, after a hard rainstorm that stirs up all the bait and the oxygen and the fish come up to the surface and they get really active. Ooh, there was one. There was... Oh, there he was again. Are you kidding me? Come on. Okay, first little bit of action. Two bites back to back. Guys, I'm gonna go ahead and switch it up to this weird looking Rapala. It's a bullhead Rapala. I've never seen this before, but I found it and I thought it was so cool. It literally just says bullhead, so I'm assuming they mean catfish, but that is one unusual Rapala I've never tried before. So, uh, you know, we're gonna give this a try. Maybe it'll work. Let's see. Oh, got him. Right there. Oh, <laughs> that was so cool. It got all tangled up. It floated to the top. I started retrieving it, retrieving it again, and this little dude smashed it. Second cast with this little crankbait thing. It's actually floating and uh, I don't know It's kind of got like a weird side to side action on it, but look at that this little brownie wanted a piece of it Awesome. This guy's too small to keep and he's the first fish of the day. You know, you can't keep the first fish of the day. So uh, let's Let this guy go Oh, <laughs> And there he goes who that was quick second cast with that little crankbait. It's really to be 100% honest it seems dead like I haven't seen many fish it just seems kind of dead which is weird because you'd think after a rainstorm like that they'd just be popping off left and right but not much is going off I don't know if it's just because of the location I'm at or what but we're gonna give the dam another 10 minutes or so and then we're gonna move to the other side of the lake see what's going on over there yeah well this dam was kind of a bust. Only one tiny squeak of a brown trout. Let's find another spot. Hopefully we do a little bit better. It started to snow again, as you can tell. So I don't know how much longer I can be out here because uh, filming in the snow and rain isn't exactly the isn't the best. All right guys, the snow's getting pretty intense, so I'm gonna take a break, put you guys away, because I don't want you to get broken. I'm gonna keep fishing while I hopefully wait for it to let up, but uh, yeah, I'll see you guys soon, hopefully. The snow has finally stopped for the time being. The wind has stopped. We got blue skies for now, but who knows how long that's gonna last. So I have about two hours left of daylight. I'd really like to catch a nice, hot, fresh trout for dinner. So let's start casting. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a nice fish. That's a really nice brown. Oh my gosh, do not come off. Please don't come off. For the love of everything holy, do not come off. <laughs> that is a nice fish. I'm gonna bring him over here where I can land him a little easier. 
that's a nice fish. That is a real, that's my biggest brown of the year, dude. Oh my gosh, that is a really nice brown. Really nice brown, okay. Guys, this is a big brown. We are not keeping this, dude. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, you guys, check this fish out. Here, buddy. Oh, you guys, look at that brown. That is like a freaking four pound fish. Guys, look at that brown. Look at that. That's a solid 22 incher, baby. Oh man, look at that beautiful, beautiful fish. Look at the girth on her. I would, I would guess that this is a female because there's no kipe on the jaw. So uh, probably a female full of eggs. I'm keeping her in the water so she can stay healthy while I show you guys because fish like this while they're spawning especially, I want them to keep them, I want to keep them healthy, so. Oh man. <laughs> guys, I know I need dinner. I don't have any food for tonight, but I'm glad I let that fish go. Watching her swim away so she can do go do her spawning, that feels so good. But we still do need dinner. I'm gonna give this spot a few more minutes and if we can't, move somewhere else. Got him. Perfect keeping size. <laughs> ah, check it out, folks. Only like two or three casts after that giant, we land this beautiful little brown. Let me wash him off here. Look at that brownie, beautiful colors, perfect keeping size, not not a big one. I would feel bad keeping a big one. Ah, there we go, got him off the hook. Perfect fish for dinner. Now that the pressure's off, we have some dinner. We can just uh, kind of just fish for fun now. But this is sweet, look at that fish, beautiful. I hooked one, freaking set the hook on him. He jumped out of the water, flung it right back at me. <gasps> Ooh, it's getting dangerous around here, boys. There we go. <laughs> this is a pretty little fish. Nothing too special. Look at that. Nice little brownie. <laughs> About the same size as the last one. Alright. See you later, bud. Oh, there's one. That's a good one. Or I don't know. I don't know. You can never tell. Sometimes the smallest fish feel like the biggest. It's just a squeak. Man, they're crushing the Rapala now. Something's turned on. Nice. See you later, bud. Whew. There's one. <laughs> Dude, someone just flipped a switch, I swear. Another cookie cutter brown. Beautiful though, they make up for it and how pretty they are. Ooh, well folks, as you can tell, it's starting to get a little colder. The sun went down, so uh, it's time to find a camping spot, cook up some dinner, and we'll go from there. Let's go. All right, well, I have my camping spot. I just pulled up right next to the dam where I started this video. We're gonna camp right here. I got all my stuff in there, but before it gets dark, we're gonna cook up dinner. All right, folks, sun is setting. We got about 30 minutes of sunlight left, or daylight. <whistles> Frying pan. Throw a little butter in there. You can see my breath. And guys, since it was so good last time, we're gonna be uh, making some fish and chips again. Got a bag of salt and pepper that we'll sprinkle over these potatoes. Ooh. We also have some rubbed sage. This stuff is really good on fish. Let's try it on potatoes. 
mix all that up. Then we're gonna add our brown trout right in with those potatoes. A little disappointed the brown trout was not pink like I wanted, but uh, that just tells me that this particular trout came from the stream and not the lake. Because when they're in the lake, they eat the shrimp and it makes their meat turn pink. When they're in the river, they eat the bugs. That's what makes the meat white. Sprinkle some salt on the trout. Ooh, look at that potato. Oh my goodness, guys. I have not eaten like anything all day long. Mmm. Oh, man. Mmm. After a tough fishing like day like that, this is nice. I fished all day long. Fished through the snow, everything. Caught one little brown trout, and then the last hour of the day right there, man, it picked up a little bit. Caught a beautiful, like, four-pounder. That was awesome. Let's grab a nice, juicy piece of trout. Eh, let's try this piece. Eh, let's try this piece. Ooh. Mmm. That's what I worked for all day. Mm. That's some good stuff. I hope you enjoyed day number one. Wouldn't be surprised if we get some snow tonight, so we might wake up in the morning surrounded by snow. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can stay warm. We'll wake up early, do some fishing down there at the lake, see what else happens. I got plenty of blankets in there, lantern, sleeping pad, all the gear, a gun. I'm gonna finish up my dinner, hop in there, Get a good night's sleep, hopefully. Hopefully we can stay warm. And uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It's about 9.30 right now. Let me tell you, it is absolutely freezing outside. Like, I wanted to get up early and fish, but I just had to wait for the sun to come up because it is just... It is extremely cold. The wind chill's gotta be like 15 degrees, man. It is, it is rough out there. But I'm gonna head down there to the dam, see if we can catch a couple nice fish this morning to cook up for breakfast, actually. Trout for breakfast. Trout for breakfast. We'll see how long I can tough it out out there. It's pretty cold. Ooh. Well, my friends, it is too windy, too cold to fish right now. So I'm gonna go cook breakfast, warm up a little bit, and then uh, hopefully come back out later. All right, folks, I have found a little spot on this dirt road in between these two little hills here, and I'm kind of sheltered by the wind. It's not windy over here right now, and let me be honest, without the wind, man, it is totally fine. It's probably about, 39 40 degrees which is still cold but it's like pretty pleasant no wind so i'm gonna cook up a little breakfast right here on the tailgate today we have some eggs and sausage usually you bring bacon but i just thought i'd give sausage a try um haven't had it in a while and it sounded good got my fresh clean cast iron pan some of you guys were getting mad at me because i didn't wash out my pan very good last catch and cook video so i made sure to wash it out extra good for you guys this time I feel like the eggs are gonna cook faster than the sausage, so we're gonna set the sausage on first. This is good. Fresh off the pan, piping hot sausage. It's about 35 degrees. Nice. All right, folks, it's a few hours later. 
The sun is high in the sky and it's warmed up just a little bit. So I'm at this creek that I haven't fished in a while, but I know for a fact it has a lot of fish. My goal is to catch a fish for lunch. So that's the first goal. Get a nice fish for lunch and see what else happens. Oh, got him. <laughs> oh my goodness, there he goes. Ah, there was the first, I, I'm gonna count that. That was the first fish. I, I, I pretty much got him up on land. Comes on that little crankbait right there. Guys, there's tons of fish down there. The water is so crystal clear. I can count one, two, three, four, five. There's at least five trout right here. That's why I love fishing these little crystal clear water streams. You can just kind of see what's going on. Oh, here he is, here he is. Come on, bud, come on, bud. Come on, bud. Oh, right there, right there, right there. Dude, how do they not get hooked? He's right here in front of my feet. Come on, come on. Okay, he's, come on. No, 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 he's right there, he's right there. Guys, I got, I got a little trout right here. I got a little trout guy. Oh. Oh my gosh, how is he missing it? Got him. <laughs> I've been playing with this guy. Dude, he's come up for it like 20 times. <laughs> he's so stupid. Yay, at least I can land him. First. This is, the first, this is the first fish of the day, folks. First fish of the day is a beautiful little brown. Beautiful, can't get any more pretty than that. All right, bud, hopefully you're the first of many. All right. Oh, there's one, got one, ha <laughs> ha. Look at him. They're spawning in this little gravel bed right here in front of me. This, this, oh, this looks like a keeper. Do we keep this guy? Oh, ho, ho. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Should we, you know, I'm gonna let this guy go. He's he's pretty skinny. Look at that, he's a pretty skinny looking fish. Uh, pretty though. If I had to guess, I, get, I, I would guess that this guy's all spawned out because he's so skinny. But uh, yeah, there he goes. Oh, look at that guy. Oh, two nice browns. Look at that guy. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Those are two nice browns. Oh no. Two nice browns just followed me in. Dang it. There's some nice fish spawning on this gravel bed. Let's see how aggressive. Dude, there's one right here in front of me. Let's see how aggressive he is. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, he's right underneath this log. Check it out. Oh, got him. <laughs> Dang, these are some aggressive little trout. Oh man, oh man. This is what I love about creek fishing, you guys. I just love playing with these little creek fish, chasing them around. I mean, look how beautiful that brown is. Oh my goodness. There we go, guys. One of the most beautiful browns. I love it when they're like dark golden brown like that and then have those really bright red spots. We still do need a fish to keep. Get down. Here comes a bunch. Got him, got one. Oh, that's a keeper, that's a keeping fish if we can get him up. Yes, that's a keeper. Yes. Folks, we have dinner, or lunch actually. That's a perfect keeping fish. Oh my gosh, look at that. Perfect, perfect keeping fish. Got it right there. He freaking <laughs> nailed that thing out of nowhere. Nice. I'm gonna kill him real quick. Ooh, all right guys, that's enough for fishing. Got my trout. Let's cook up some lunch. All right folks, it is cooking time. Throw some butter. Ice cold frozen butter. And here we have our brown trout. Just like the one we caught last night. Both white meat fish um, because they came from a stream. So they're both gonna have white meat. Pinch of salt. Flip it over. 
salt this side. Ooh, I think the trout is done. Oh yeah, it's done. Look at that, golden brown. Oh, look at that, flakes right off. Mmm. Mmm. So we're gonna set our trout off to the side here. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of this frozen ice water, pour it in there. It's probably good right about there. And to go with our trout, we're gonna cook some ramen noodle. I did this once before, if you guys watched that video, it was really dang good. So today we have just plain chicken flavor. Probably the best flavor in my opinion. Dump it in there. Add the flavor packet. I cleaned out the pan the best I could, but uh, I'm not afraid of a little cross contamination, you know. Noodles taste a bit like trout. Trout's gonna taste a bit like noodles. No big deal. Ooh. Ooh. And then for the finishing touch, we shall add the trout right on top there. Warm it up, and that is the perfect camping meal right there, folks. Trout and ramen. Ramen's good as always. Let's try a nice piece of trout here. Flaky trout. That's good. When I gutted this trout, it didn't have any eggs, so, uh, that means that it is done spawning. Normally guys, I would not keep like brown trout that are spawning. You want them to spawn so there can be more babies, but in a creek like this, there are so many fish, so many brown trout, that uh, it's actually good to take some away because that leaves the rest of more food so they can grow bigger. Because when you have a ton of fish, they literally eat themselves to death and they all just get stunted and stay small. That's why the fish in this creek are just so small there's so many of them so keeping just one brown trout not a big deal well you guys that's gonna do it for the video hope you guys enjoyed it was a little cold but other than that it was really fun so if you guys enjoyed go down there give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already I would really appreciate it but uh other than that thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time